Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm back. I have an interesting video for you. Today, I want to talk about friction fire. I took Justin out the other day. We practiced friction fire. Well, he ate snacks and I made friction fire. I want to talk about variables that get involved in friction fire, meaning things that are making your friction fire progress possibly come to an end. Maybe you're getting tired. Maybe your spindle's getting too short. Maybe your hearth board is getting too thin and you're running out of uh, material maybe there's a storm coming there's tons of reasons why you would want to employ this technique now this is a technique that I've been practicing for the last oh I would say about six months and I've found through trial and error that this technique works really good in those situations maybe your strings about to break or for whatever the reason is you want to reduce the amount of effort that it takes to get that ember. Now we all know that fire has a triangle, it has three things that it needs to exist. We know that we need oxygen, we know that we need heat, and we know that we need fuel. Now the heat is created when the spindle spins. The oxygen is coming up underneath the hearth board. And the fuel is the temporary dust, okay? And that fuel, that temporary dust or temporary fuel, whatever you want to call it, that's important. That's one of the three elements that we need. Now, maybe my bowstring is about to break and I don't have enough uh, bowstring left to completely fill this notch with dust that I'm going to make. So I would use this technique that I call fake dust. I don't know if there's other people out doing this. Surely there's somebody out there that's played with this, this technique and found that it works very well. Fake dust is any uh, droppings that come from a grass-fed animal that are dry. So whether it's rabbits, moose, cows, elk, sheep, horses, you know, anything uh, that is eating grass, goats, bighorn sheep, caribou, anything like that. If the droppings are sitting out in the sun and they are dry, you can take that material in the form of dust and smash it up and insert it into the notch. Once it's in the notch, you don't have to create as much temporary fuel or dust because you've put fake dust in its place. That gives you a shorter amount of time in your bow drilling effort to get that thing hot and ignited to the point of combustion and then the dust the fake dust takes over once the real dust gets an ember and once you baby that ember to a coal that coal will sit into that fake dust and it really uh, what I've found is this technique really extends the life of your hearth and your spindle because you don't have to create this big amount of dust every single time. It also creates longevity on your string. Your bowing action isn't near as much because you're not creating that amount of dust through friction. It's an excellent technique that I've been working with. Now when it comes to fake dust, I've used everything from sawdust all the way to animal droppings. I've used broken up leaves and it all works just something that you can stuff in that notch. You can see here that this notch here is ran out. There's nothing really left with that notch. Okay, so I had to make another one. This notch here, you can see, has maybe one more coal left in it, one more burn. Maybe it's the end of the day, I'm losing daylight, and I don't have the resources to burn in or cut in another notch. Maybe that's the notch that I have left. I'm at the end of my board maybe. 
whoever knows what the variables are, but I need this notch to work. This would be the perfect example of stuffing that area full of fake dust and cranking on that bad boy until you get ignition. When it comes to the dust particles that you're going to use as fake dust, I have found that the finer the material is, the more it resembles real dust that you would create from friction. So some of the best examples that I've used are, are droppings from rabbits. Rabbit droppings because they really grind up their food really good and it's really fine powder. When you break up a bunch of those little rabbit droppings that are dry and you stuff them in there, it, you can't almost, you can barely tell the difference between that and real dust. It works really well and it will extend your resources. And I thought I'd share this with you. I hope you guys want to go out and try that skill. I hope it works for you. And then I want to say thank you for stopping by. Please feel free to leave your comments down below. Like this video, share this video. Please give this video some traction. If you like the type of content that you're seeing on my channel, ant biting me there, please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And until next time, have a beautiful day. We'll see you then. Go out and practice some fake dust in your friction fire attempts. It's awesome. Bye for now.